Well, let's have it. You have what you want. Now give me my coffee. Fool! I intend to hoard all the caffeine in the world. Why would I give it to you now that I have your power coin? Man, I can't beat you up. You haven't had my coffee yet. Nah, I have your power coin. Take that, man. What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do? Hey, hey, yeah. Uh, honey, come back here with that. Give me, yeah. Honey, you're making a scene. Yeah, come back here. Thursday was the Power Morphicon field trip. Tour buses loaded in front of the Pasadena Convention Center and then took fans to various Power Rangers filming locations to walk around and take photos. The first stop was in downtown LA and there was some recognizable scenery along the way, especially from in space through Wild Force. The city should look very familiar. A bunch of people taking tour buses through LA to see Power Rangers filming locations. It's pretty funny. This is the alley where Tommy was recruited by Rita Repulsa. Don't step in whatever that yeah, is. <laughs> Tommy, I have chosen you. <laughs> You're my Green Ranger. <laughs> How do we describe the smell? <laughs> Looks about the same. That smell was an experience. Wasn't it? <laughs> After downtown LA, the next stop is Kenneth Hahn Park. This was a very popular filming location for season one. This is the park where Tommy and Kimberly had their first kiss. Did you want to make out with me here, Mia? I've been wanting to do this for a long time. <laughs> Not <a> friend, <laughs> This is also where poor Billy got bitten by a fish. There's something up with the animals at this park, I tell ya. Oh, he's lonely. Hi. What's your name? Is that with a C? I can't pronounce that. I'll bet you want me to pet you. You're gonna like it. Just <laughs> ah, no bite. He bit me. He bit me! Can you believe that? After I was viciously attacked by that goose monster, we went to another very recognizable location in this area. So this is the scene where the rangers gave their power coins to Goldar. This is the waterfall. This location hasn't changed much in 29 years. I think this tour also gives fans a really good idea of just how much driving was involved in Power Rangers. LA's a big place and the locations are all over. Next stop was KO35, which actually isn't on a distant planet, it's in Long Beach, California. Our vlog channel viewers may recognize some of this scenery. On the way to the next location, we actually drove by the exit to our old house. And sometimes this is the route we would take to Porter Ranch Toys R Us. May it rest in peace. The scenery is starting to feel pretty Power Rangers-ish, right? We're on our way to Simi Valley to our last location, but first we stopped for food. The bus is stopped in a big shopping center and people could just walk around and go to whichever place they wanted. We went to Carl's Jr. Everyone returned to the buses by 3 p.m. and onward to our final location. Where could it be? The final stop is the command center. Not everyone's allowed to enter here, but we have power coins. This is the home of Zordon. This is where he was. I 
I want to say we left Pasadena around 8 a.m. We stopped for food maybe around 2. And I think we returned to Pasadena roughly by 5 p.m. So it's an all-day thing. The field trip is a really great way for fans to go to all these places in the same day and not really have to worry about L.A. driving. And it's also probably more fun to go with a big group of other Power Ranger fans. And here we are, back in Pasadena. It was a fun day. Oh, we actually came early to set up Yeah. It's Daryl. Hi, how are you guys? You're not running. <laughs> Why? I'm the nice one. Where's Jerry? It's take our promise. You need that time for sheet. Today is Friday, August 26th, and it's time for Power Morphicon, day one. I ran into Jack while I was filming. He played Danny on Wild Force. This f***ing guy is amazing. That bro. language. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> My boy, how are you, brother? Dude, he was on set every day with us. <laughs> it's like, you better have some cool stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He was the Wild Force Just right? share it now, though. I want it. I want some of those. <laughs> The whale got in there. Yeah, I know. Second yes. oh, <laughs> cover. I, I really thought I was going to slide. I wanted to. Hi! Hi! <laughs> <laughs> Take Highway Buster, Mia! No! <laughs> That's awesome. So who made this? We did. Oh. Ah. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. It took us about two months. That's so. really yeah. impressive. So you did the animatronics? Yeah. yeah. In addition to Power Morphicon, this is still Power Week, so Hasbro keeps putting up new stuff. Here are the Power Daggers, so now we're only missing the Power Axe and the Power Bow. All right, time's catching up with us now. It's uh, about two hours before the doors open. I'm still editing this video from yesterday and, and earlier today. Mia's putting the print stuff together for a booth. 2.35, come say hi. Uh, we're trying to get this stuff done before the doors open, so we're not setting up as people are coming in. Which is... Which is how we usually do it. That's how we do. Uh, we haven't eaten anything today. Besides coffee. Doing good. Maybe some tacos. Oh, tacos. Tacos sound good. I like tacos. Alright, here we go. Booth 235. Come say hi. And of course, Team Bruno. Whatever. Team Bruno. We'll see. Honey, it's day one of Morphicon. Don't make a scene. You know I'm gonna make a scene. Honey, 